H and G gun review. P08 Parabellum, take one. Hi Nation, welcome back to another H and G weapons review. I know I said I really would be doing a lot of content on uh, the channel, but uh, here it is, and we're going to be taking a look at the P08 Parabellum. Ooh, I know, guys. I know. I know. I know. The P08. What can I say? Made by Luger, nice little pistol. Uh, was used by the, the Swedish Nazi Army, Wehrmacht Republic, the German Empire. Um, there are even some countries that still even use the pistol today. Um, what can I say really? Uh, its rate of fire is uh, 20 rounds per minute. And of course, in game, that that's not exactly what happens in game i mean in game this thing's clocked at 313 rounds per minute so it's clocked a little bit like a gatling gun i've gone left flat out pure close quarters damage build with mine with a little bit of rate of fire thrown in now of course you could drop the the, the money and get the match trigger and really go all out but look at the spread difference between the two uh, i know some people have gone with the uh, precision uh, um, side of it and actually have gone with the uh, sights and uh, dropped I think it was the heavy spring yeah and, and they've gone with a, a pure uh, accuracy build so use it for sniping um, of course the ubiquitous badges that you're going to be using with the gun if you have a premium account you're going to be running a quick point of fire and fast reload the reason why the fast reload is it, the gun itself does reload pretty fast uh, especially a lot faster compared to the uh, C96 uh, as you can see now I will be comparing a lot of the uh, weapon stats here with uh, the um, C96 of course uh, reload time is 2.5 seconds stock C96's reload time is of course 2.7 now I know you're thinking well what's the point of a sec uh, 2 of a second in HNG that's the difference between bleed literally getting shot in the head and not getting shot in the head uh, this is a build I do to just basically level up pistols and as you can see I recently purchased this pistol literally the beginning of last week just before the new year and Christmas uh, happy belated uh, uh, Christmas and new year to all my followers um, but as you can see this bad boy is damn near about to go dink ta ta we're 40k off for getting this sucker to four star gold which actually really isn't that hard if you think about it and um, yeah well let's get back to the gun what do i think of of the po8 um coming from the c96 you'll notice you'll notice that the c96 uh, uh the, the the gun mechanics the model and how the weapon uh fires the c96 this is uh, uh is completely different from the po8 the po8 doesn't jump jump as high so your follow-up shots on the p90 uh, po8 uh, uh, at range are actually a lot better i know some guys uh, here in H and G, will actually run the DWM Fosh ammo, and I mean, look at that! Oh, suits you, sir. Suits you. You know, I mean, it, it, it's just uh, look. That's a nail driver. That that's like three shot kill of, with the Wolfen Eagle ammo, and with the the Fosh ammo. Look at that grouping. Oh my God, that is sick. That is sick. So, you know, let's try the, uh, 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 yeah, of course, we've got the uh, bug. So, let's see, did it take, uh, still got the Wolfen Eagle. I need the Fosh, don't need the Wolfen Eagle. Yeah, it's glitched. GG. <laughs> this always happens to me, guys. I should have added this into my top 10 video. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, hopefully going for the... Uh, and as you can see, uh, uh, like I said, the uh, the poor uh, C90, the, the Mauser has no love, as you can see. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I normally go with the full ammo with uh, the C96 anyway. Um, most notably because uh, it, uh, it, see, it, it's like this. Really, really too. Oh, good lord, see, it's like, just, uh, let me change soldiers and see if that fixes it. 
I know sometimes if you uh, swap out your soldier it will fix the issue. No, nope, it hasn't fixed the issue so I've got to tell you what weapons current, what ammo is currently loaded in the gun. It seems the Vulf and Eagle winning. <laughs> you guys have clearly seen me use the Vulf. But anyway guys, um, ubiquitous, oh great, even the badges have Three, two, <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, me too. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving this in the review. I'm not editing this out. I'm leaving it in. But anyway, guys, uh, that's the uh, combo badge. Quick point of fire, fast reload. Um, to power level my pistols, I tend to just use do depot encounter. And it's a close quarters battle. Uh, you can do some sniping if you really want to. Uh, oh, also, one of the big letdowns about uh, the PO8 is it only has 8 rounds in the mag, as where the uh, C96 is 10 rounds. So what I tend to do is uh, use the PO8 as a uh, long long range to medium range uh, weapon. And so, uh, yeah, just really, really, really. Of course, you can drop the hand grenades if you really want to make money. Uh, because of course grenades are just god awfully expensive so let's get into the combat shall we enjoy the montage
All right. I hope you enjoyed that little montage of me using both the POA and the C36. Now, also in that video, you noticed that uh, uh, when I was getting bum rushed by the guy with the Thompson, I managed to switch quickly to my C96 after my POA it was down to like three rounds. And um, let's see, I did that with the Wolfen Eagle ammo, even though it didn't tell me I had the Wolfen Eagle. Yeah, I want just read to please. Ugh. Anyway, guys. Um, that was the PO8 with the Wolf and Ammo, and I was still sniping as you saw. I was doing a good 25 to 30 plus meter shots with the pistol, which, uh, according to Ritu, is a medium to long range for pistols, which is an absolute joke. Everyone knows uh, uh, pistols, even in World War II, could reach up to 100 meters easy and uh, still be a f as, an, as effective as a uh, um, submachine gun. Well, anyway, guys, uh, yes, you did see me switch out a few times to the C96, and I did use a couple of frag grenades, and I do have, as you can see, I do have auto repair on, and our grand total was 1,708 credits in repairs and ammunition and uh, refit, and of course, and we did bank 3,105, plus 776 credits in my veterancy bonus. So as you can see, guys, it, it is a bit of a cost, it, it, you can make some money uh, with this build. If you're looking at grinding out credits, this is actually a pretty fun build. But the downside is because you can only do it on the depot encounter on the uh, depot encounter map. The queue time is a little bit out there, but ultimately, uh, guys, it is a, a an actual fun uh, all around uh, a good time. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this weapons review. Um, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Um, the only caveat that I find with the PO8 as a player that uses the pistol is um, I, I, it, you can tell that the PO8 in this game is getting you ready for the P38. Now, as you can see, I do not own the P38 just yet. Uh, I don't. I don't own the P38 just yet. But um, when I do, I will be doing I will be doing a complete apples to apples comparison with all three weapons. Look forward to seeing that video. I'll probably add it as an annotation to this video, so that you guys can you know, click on that and boom, it'll take you over to the P thirty eight review video. But uh, for now, guys, um, I would have to say that the uh, PO eight, even though it has two less rounds than the C ninety six. Uh, it is clearly the winner over the C96, but it doesn't mean that the C96, or the uh, Mauser, as everyone calls it, doesn't have a place here. As you can see, with the same amount, because it gets two extra bullets per magazine, I've got 70 rounds. 70 rounds in my pistol. You get 80 rounds with a Gavar. So you can do some damage with the C96 if you are very precise. If you build it for uh, precision so you want to get maybe if you're going to go with a precision build you'll want to go with like the matched sights and you'll want to go with the, the Foch ammo and uh, maybe even the heavy spring to bring that grouping down a little bit more it uh, will in and like I said it's better stability so a better follow-up shot uh, but slower rate of fire but like I said it, it, it would be more of a marksman's uh, weapon. Now my typical go-to build with my C96 of course is the Falsch ammo light spring field adjusted trigger. I have that for both my infantry and my recon. Let me show you. Oh I went with a Wolfen Eagle with this, this build for some reason. Anyway uh, as you can see guys um, again field trigger. The ammo it is mostly if you really uh, uh, need that that uh, range. I don't like. I said I even normally use Hans Blaster, which is what the the gun was based on in Star Wars. It was based on the the, the Mauser C96. I tend to use uh, Hans Blaster, uh, and I'll always call it Hans Blaster. So if I use the the term Hans Blaster uh, in my live stream, you know what I mean. I mean the pistol, the, the C96 pistol. It's the Hans Blaster basically. Um, and like I said, guys, it is an interesting build. Uh, the PO8 is a guaranteed sidearm that I would I would like to nicely pair with maybe my Sturmgewehr. I think that would be a nice uh, uh, a nice pairing right there. We could uh, throw that in there. See, nice little uh, one-two combo. You know, if the if the Sturmgewehr doesn't drop you down, the PO8 will. You know, sort of thing. You know, 
But most people can, don't consider pistols as a primary build idea anyway. They mostly consider it a secondary weapon, uh, which to, in all honesty, I say shame on you because uh, um, if you set your recon up right and just use pistols, maybe anti-tank grenades, maybe uh, 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 regular uh, uh, frag sleeve grenades, you can actually be a little bit of a bastard behind enemy lines. But uh, until then guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And until then my friends, check out my other HNG videos that I've got here. Until then my friends, take care and I'll see you on Battlefield my friends.